December. So it's quite early. Um, no, not too bad. It's about half seven. So I'm up and about. And um, today I'm in the Meredith dress. Um, I'm so over it. Um, the lovely Sally mentioned my um, my sign um, uh, a couple of days ago now. Um, cold nose, warm heart. Um, that's what, when my husband and I kiss, I've always got a cold nose. <laughs> What a warm heart, he says. So, oh, I've got lots of whippet feet going on around me. Good morning. Good morning. Do you want to say hello? No? We'll see them in a minute. I'm going to take them out for a walk in a second. Um, but I want to start by saying thank you so much for the lovely comments over the last couple of days. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys are really good for my soul, so thank you. You know who you are. I really appreciate it. Um, and do go on commenting because I feel like I'm having chats with friends who are like-minded um, and I do genuinely wish I could meet all of you. Um, it's just, you know, this is me living my life and uh, it, is, it is interesting watching other people's lives too. Um, I've watched uh, Sewing Bunny, Morning Michelle, and I've watched Liz, Baker That Sews, Good Morning. I haven't had a chance to watch Kidnish Behaviour yet, so um, Sean, I'll be watching at some stage. Um, I don't want to miss anyone, so if you know of any other vloggers, oh, Rach from Stitched Up, I haven't had a chance to watch hers yet. Um, um, I've watched her the pre-log or something I previewed to Christmas or Vlogmas, but um, yeah, I love watching it. I love watching my friends, um, sewing friends uh, channels. I'm fully supportive of them. So if you haven't heard of any of those, then do please give them a shout. Um, I'm going to try and remember to plug in a microphone or something, so I appreciate couple of bits of footage you've been quite quiet. This is all done off my phone, so I apologise about that. Um, my microphone isn't wireless, so it's a, it's a real um, hassle having it hanging around. But I hope you can hear me okay. I do watch it my, when I'm editing. I do watch them back on a number of different mediums um, to, to hope, that, hope that it's okay. So I apologise about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some breakfast. I think I'm going to have some good old Rice Krispies this morning. Let's get let's have a look in the cupboard, shall we? Well, yeah, Rice Krispies. Other cereals are available. Nothing exciting about my breakfast this morning. I'm off to work to get to, again today. Uh, do you know, I don't, I don't even remember what day it is. No, nope, absolutely no idea at the moment. Um, I know, uh, yeah, I'm, I've got some fun things coming up at the end of the week, so... Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to take you along with me on those. Might not be able to do them on the day. I might have to put them into the day after or something. I haven't really thought about how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll take footage. Um, but I'll keep you updated. And um, I did a bit more progress on the trousers last night um, after <laughs> after finally getting machine, machines to work. Um, I did, uh, you know, the duet trousers that I'm making. They come together really quickly. Um, because I've got no fly and you're just a side zipper, um, I think they're going to come together really quickly. So I'll, I'll continue to do that with you again tonight. Uh, more advent calendar fun. Um, and yeah, probably about to walk the whippets. I'm going to have some breakfast, walk the whippets. I'll, um, I'll take you with me if you like. And uh, you'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Hello, darlings. Leaves on, ready to go. Yeah? Should we go for walkies? Hello. I was going to show you my coat. My husband bought me this in, as a surprise in, um, when we were in Holland a couple of years ago. So, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. It looks a bit like a desequel, but it's not. So, I think that's the right word. Right, girls, sorry. I'm, I'm waffling. I should be walking. Shouldn't I, Alice? You so should. Right, let's go. So it's actually uh, Friday. So now that I've got my head um, screwed back on, not sure what was happening this morning. Uh, that's the perils of um, filming slightly earlier than well than you would ever imagine. So it's Friday, yay! So which is really exciting. So um, I'm just in the car. I'm just gonna literally haven't even I ought to put the engine on really because it's um, very cold. Uh, so I'm just off to work. But yeah, so today's video probably will come out. Um, a lot later than normal. I've been managing to, to um, sort of upload them for about seven o'clock this week, but um, I'm going out to uh, the late night shopping in my old town um, and meeting up with some friends tonight. And I would like to show you the lights because we're going to the Festival of Trees, which is a really beautiful, um, so the church in Uckfield fills itself with uh, Christmas trees. 
and that are all then sponsored by local charities, schools. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. Um, they couldn't do it last year for obvious reasons and it's one of my favourite things to go and see. So we're hoping to get in because it's sometimes absolutely manically busy. But um, yeah, we're going to go and have a mingle around Uckfield. I'll video some of the lights hopefully. Um, and so there won't be sewing this evening because I'm actually out. So I'm sorry about that. Um, that's frustrating but um, it then being the weekend I'll be able to do some serious sewing time with you um, I may also be filming a, um, a, a filming video for my standard YouTube channel as well so have a good day Deb everybody and I will catch up with you later before I go out tonight take care hiya um, so back from work oh, had a shocker of a day today but never mind um, it's the weekend yay Friday night so um, chance to recover and recuperate and things so never mind. Um, I'm off out tonight. I um, honestly can't remember what I told you this morning so I know I've forgotten that it was Friday. How does a person do that? But anyway yeah it's Friday so I'm off out to meet some friends tonight and we're going to the Festival of Trees which is lovely. We're hoping to get into that and sometimes it can be really busy. That is my sole purpose of going back up to Arkfield other than to see two of my best friends so um, can't wait to see them. Um, I've got on this evening the toaster sweater um, that I, that I um, sort of, I dyed, I dyed green, yeah, really looks green, doesn't it? If you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about, then do pop over to my other video this week um, of my autumn makes um, where I explained that this was a sort of a deep caramel colour um, and I wanted to dye it green and this is the colour it came out. Yes, that's because it's synthetic, Cara, and dye doesn't take it to synthetic clothes. Yeah, I know, but I quite like the colour of it now. Sort of gone from a, a dodgy camel colour to a sort of light beige or something. Still not my finest colour, I don't think. But nonetheless, it was on the um, I can't use you pile, but now I am, because I am. Um, I made some progress on the trousers, on the duet trousers. Um, I snuck in um, and did some recording. Um, so, um, so actually I, I must have been out of sequence with my filming because actually I snuck in and did some filming when I was in, excuse me, when I was in my pyjamas at some stage um, and uh, yeah, put some footage in of just the sewing part because the construction of these is really lovely. You sort of, um, and very, very quick, it would be if I was doing it in one foul swoop. Um, because there's no fly at the front, it's a slightly concealed zip. You actually could put these together really quickly, I think, because they have you do, um, now in theory I think the zip's meant to be on the right-hand side, but I'm left-handed, so I prefer to have the zip on the left side, um, and that's how I've made it work anyway. You basically sew this right-hand seam, and then you lay lay out the whole of the legs flat, if you like, and put the, the waistband on in the flat as opposed to in the round, which I think is an excellent idea. Um, and then you put the zip in, um, and then do the inseams. So I'm at the stage now where I've got the zip in but I need to go back into it and put the concealed zipper foot on it so that it's nice and concealed because at the moment I've just kind of semi-basted it in. I prefer to do that than the, the way that they said. I've tried them on and the legs are lovely but the waistband is enormous so and that happens to me quite a lot actually. I haven't got a sway back exactly but I must have a narrow a narrow bit in my back or something I'm not sure so and looking at this again I've got a few puckers and things on my waistband so I might have to have a look at that with fresh eyes tomorrow um yeah I'm going to finish these tomorrow um, it's quite unusual actually because you interface the waistband on the outside and then the inner waistband is not interfaced which obviously I've used the Atelier Brunette fabric for so that's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how that works out because I'm sure I normally interface the inner one because um, that's normally the non jeansy fabric if you like, um, sort of normally lighter weight, but I'm sure it'll come out okay. So yes, going to be some adjustment work to be done on those I think, um, but loving how they're coming out and this brown, brown twill, oh there's a whippet at the door, hang on. Hello Dylan, can you come in and say hello? Who have we got? Who have we got here? Who's this? Hello Dylan, can you say hello to the film? There we go, got a Lara scratching there. Now I had the door shut because as you can probably hear now, my husband's having a shower. So, and the Whippet exit stage left. <laughs> Shake to let me know she's gone. Hang on. 
Oh my eyes now I'm falling over. Oh dear, it's quite comical my uh, watching my real life. <laughs> Please come back for another film, honestly. <laughs> Although actually I think some of you are preferring, you know, don't mind that I am me. This is just who I am. So I'm gonna finish the trousers tomorrow, Saturday tomorrow, yay! So lots of sewing to be done tomorrow, so I might set you up and do um, what you let me sew on a fast forward or something. But I'm hoping to be able to put some footage in tonight of the trees, but I don't get back till quite late tonight, so in all honesty, by the time I've edited, downloaded, put it onto YouTube, you probably, unless you're a night owl, might not see today's until tomorrow anyway. Um, so then I might combine, I'll do something, I'm not sure. I intend to film every day, but you may well get two videos from me on Sunday with Saturday and Sunday on it or something, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, please do check out my other videos this week. Thank you so much for the lovely comments. I just adore you all. You're amazing. You know who you are. So thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, like, give me a like or thumbs up, well, thumbs up, whatever it's called. Um, don't forget to subscribe if I haven't picked up a few new subscribers, which are all very welcome, whether you've been here from the beginning, thank you, or whether you're new to me this week. Um, and as I say, if you are new to me this week, this is who I am, this is what I do, but normally I'm focused just on sewing, but this through, through Vlogmas we're getting to see a little bit more of my life, um, which is very strange, but very nice experience so far. Um, I must just say a big thank you to Andrea from The Pink Door and Helen from Stitch Re Rip Repeat. They've um, they shared on their stories um, my Vlogmas uh, channel this week. So you're amazing and I will do, uh, please if you haven't watched either of those channels then do um, go and check them out. There are many, many lovely Vlogmas. Um, so you Kitchenish Behaviour, Rachel Stitched Up, Sewing Bunny, Liz the Baker at Sews, Andrew Beyond the Pink Door, oh my word, I'm going to forget someone, um, Tamlin uh, Sewn on the Time, uh, oh gosh, um, Yorkshire Sewist, she's done a lovely one, so oh, it's just brilliant fun, it's great, and none of us are doing hugely long videos, so it's really nice to duck into. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there for now, and to, yeah, I'll put some trees in hopefully in a minute, and then tomorrow, lots of sewing. I thought I'd just slice a bit of um, a bit of footage in because I'm just going to be doing some sewing, but I'm <laughs> I'm in my pajamas, um, so I uh, I don't want to subject you guys to pajama cara because that's not a pleasant thing. So <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, but these trousers are fascinating. So um, when we last when I last showed you them, I was um, putting the fronts together and so on, um, and they got they are going to come together really quickly. Because on this pattern, and I love it when the designers do something different, they basically, um, so it's got an invisible side zip, um, which is going to go on the left side as, as worn, um, and then there's a waistband on the top. So on the construction of these, you sew, um, you sew the right leg down, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the trousers out, um, and obviously iron iron the seam and then you apply the waistband across the whole of the top um, um, before you then do the invisible zip on the left so I think that's a really nice construction because normally you'd sort of do it in the round wouldn't you well, or something like that so yeah I'm, I'm fascinated by that so I thought I'd just put yeah, so I'm going to put the waistband across the top obviously I'm not showing you that brilliantly but I thought it was a fascinating um, sort of little change to how to put some trousers together. Ooh, I'll keep you posted. So it's all going my house this evening. So I just had some pizza um, and I literally am about to go out the door. But you can probably hear in the background, um, you've got a lover hub husband who likes to hoover. And you know, I know I want to record, but you know, I can't complain. The guy's hoovering the stairs on a Friday night. It's just before he's about to take me out, for the, to take me into Upfield. Um, and uh, and drop me off, bless him. So I cannot complain, but I apologise for the noise in the background. But um, it's a lovely sound for anyone who doesn't have a husband who does any hoovering. Um, take my word for it. Um, it's a great sound. So um, I quickly wanted to do the advent calendar, otherwise I'm going to forget. Especially if I have a cocktail in Upfield and then got to get home and got to try and work out editing. So glasses on. Um, box number three. Thank you for all your lovely feedback about my um, advent calendar idea. Um, oh, okay. So today's one, ironically, so as I was just talking about some, is most common fit adjustments. So, what common fit adjustments do I have to make? Well, let me think about that. 
Hang on, I've got husband, ha husband asking a bit to be unplugged. Hang on a sec. <laughs> okay, you can't complain, can you? But anyway, so um, most common fit adjustments. I, do you know what I don't do any? Um, I know I said I'm about to tweak them, uh, to about to tweak, tweak the waistband. So I don't think if I'm on, so I went on a, I'm going to diversify a little bit. I went on a um, ultimate trousers course from Sew Over It in London in the summer. It was on my bucket list. I was really honoured to, to be able to go. A bit of an investment day, but you know, life's too short and all that. And that was the first time that I've actually learned how to do adjustments on a pair of trousers, for example, transpose those adjustments to the pattern, and then you know for next time that you'll make that pattern to fit you correctly. Um, that's probably the only time I've ever done uh, adjustments as such. That's not to say that I don't make adjustments, but I'm a bad sewer um, because I don't go back and amend the patterns or anything like that. Um, I'm quite big busted, um, but rarely am I doing, um, in fact, I've never done a full bust adjustment. So when you look at this top here, yeah, it's definitely pulling across the front here. Um, and that's predominantly because this jersey, um, French Terry, whatever it is, doesn't have very, it has almost zero stretch in it. Whereas if, you, if you've seen the one I made in the lovely turquoise from Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door, that's got a lot of stretch in it and therefore is enough giving that pattern to accommodate my boobage. Um, so you'd probably think I make full bust adjustments, I don't. Um, my most common thing is having to adjust waistbands um, and I haven't really figured out how to do that properly um, and so I just, I just make it work each time. Um, so I, I have trouble with, um, actually I have trouble with all the waistbands, that's a curved waistband on that um, and I, al I always end up having to take a wedge out of the back I suspect. So maybe you can help me with that. If you know of any good fit adjustment videos um, for waistbands, then I would really appreciate that because, yeah, when I say it out loud, that's probably the most common thing I do. What about hiccups? Is waistband adjustments. Um, I'm really average in every other way. Um, I'm quite fortunate, I guess, that I fit into the, um, the height category of most um, independent patterns and, and the big four, to be fair. Um, I generally am in a size band um, standardly between that's around 14 and um, size 14 generally speaking um, so other than usual leg adjustment for the length of trousers um, yeah waistbands would be the one I think so it's good interesting question actually today I appreciate that I think that came from the sewing bunny I can't remember everyone who who mentioned it so apologies but that one just seemed to stick in my mind so anyway um, yes, yeah, so that's it now. I definitely am off to the trees once the husband um, stops hoovering, but I can't complain. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>